Okay, so what the setup is currently is that you have purchased a domain name. In this case, in this example, you have mydomain.com, um, and it's sitting in the name server. You can you've edited um, two DNS records. Um, in this case, hello.mydomain and world.mydomain.com, and um, you're running a few services on your Raspberry Pi. Um, and to get to those services, um, such as SSH or your own cloud or a web server, you use a service, um, in this case I use noip.com, to um, dynamically check when your IP address of your, um, your router has changed and then it automatically um, updates the DNS record. Um, to show that your IP address has changed so you can um, seamlessly host your um, service on your Pi. Um, in this case I'm going to try and um, get rid of this dynamic DNS service because they keep sending me emails each month um, and it's annoying so I'm going to completely remove that service um, entirely and just go and use a little Python script um, to check when our IP address of our Router has changed, um, and then update the um, subdomains that use that IP address. Um, yeah, so on the name server. So let's let's get straight into it. So firstly, log into your Pi. Okay, and then make sure your repository, your local repository is up to date. Uh, entering your password, of course. Okay, and then we are going to install git. So And in my case, get already a latest version, um, and then we are going to install a Python dependency using pip. Okay, and again, in my case, it's already installed, but you may have to wait a moment for it to install. Uh, now we're going to switch to being the user. Okay, and then. Go to the the root user's home directory. Just like CD. Um, now get retrieve the piece of Python code. Do the following here. Create a directory called bin, which stands for binary in this case, and then copy the Python script from the the git download, um, which we call update the pi. You can put a completer we're using the tab key um, and putting that in the bin folder. And then next, you want to make sure that that Python script is executable so you can run it. Uh, show the following command. Uh, this is saying the, the user is the only one who should be getting rights to execute it. And now, um, before we actually run the script, you should log into your um, C 
cPanel um, to your username um, and then password, whatever that is, and then change each subdomain you want to change um, to be of type A record instead of type C name or any other type of um, record. So yeah, we'll do that now um, before we test it. And then in order to test the script, um, you can, can run the following command. Your cPanel username, your cPanel password, uh, your domain, and then each subdomain you want to change without the, um, the suffix of mydomain.com, and then finally the URL of your cPanel. In this case, the example one is um, it's just my .cpanel.org and port 2083. And then you can press enter. Um, in this case, I'm not going to do that. Um, and then I'm just going to cancel the command. But if you go back to your cpanel, um, you'll notice that the, um, the relevant subdomains will have changed. You have the IP of your yeah. Um, you also you need to make sure that port forwarding is enabled already. And hopefully you've done that initially. Okay, so now that it's working, um, we can create a parameter file um, instead of having our uh, username and password out in the open. create that file like this um, and then you want to copy um, note that I'm copying the space just before the, the minus u over here and then I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to use my favorite editor in this case it's film um, to edit that file and then I'm just going to paste um, that into for that. Okay, and then from there we want to make sure that only the root user can can view that file. So we're going to remove read privileges for group and others on that file. Okay, so you ls minus l, do a listing on the bin folder. You see that the params parameters file. Um, it's only readable by the root user. Okay. Then finally, you want to edit your etc uh, cron tab file. So I'm just going to put a comment here so I remember what I'm. So we want to make sure this command gets run every 30 minutes, so twice every hour. So what we're going to say is going to run minute 0, and then minute 30, and then that's going to run on every hour by the root user. Um, and then the command we want to run is First, we want to change directory to the root home directory, the bin folder, um, and we want to output the parameters to the command line. Um, and from there, we want to send them to the 
up there is good. Okay. I'm gonna copy that line and, and then the same uh, at the same time we're going to make sure that if the pie is rebooted that this will run and on reboot. And um, that's it. Reboot if you want, but should automatically go. That's it. Thanks for watching.